Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. In this session, we will look at money and bank wire transfers as well as electronic money. Electronic money. There are more than 50 different types of electronic money from all around the world. However, the number of the reliable ones is extremely low. There are many examples, some of which have had their assets confiscated by the law enforcements like the E-Gold Company and Liberty Reserved, which had the biggest money laundering lawsuit in history against them of up to $6 billion. As a result, you must be very careful and choose a reliable and trustworthy system. Here, we will introduce to you some of the most recognisable types of electronic money transfer. Reliable and secure ones. Probably the most recognisable one is PayPal, which can also be shown as PP. Skrill is one of the biggest, its symbol is shown as MB. This is because they used to be known as money bookers. Another two big companies are NetTeller and WebMoney. PayPal. So, PayPal the biggest and most recognizable electronic money company in the world. It is based in America and has been licensed by the NFA. You can easily enter their website and apply for an account with your personal email and information such as name and address. You will also need a debit or credit card or both. At first your account must be verified and for that to happen the amount of roughly one and a half dollars will be withdrawn and redeposited into your account and your account will be verified by a four digit code. If there are any unsafe trades or threats detected on your account, PayPal will ask for more detailed personal information, such as your papers or identification, such as your passport or an ID card. Skrill. Next, Skrill, previously known as Moneybookers, which is based in England and is regulated by the FCA. To open an account with them, you must go to their website with your email address and personal information and apply for one. There are different methods to verify your account. The first one is by sending a code to your postcoded address. Once you have received this code, go back into the website and enter it to complete verification. The second one is using a MasterCard or credit card. You will receive a four digit code similar to the PayPal system. However, they too may ask for more detailed information, such as passport or an ID card. They will ask you to withdraw from your account into your bank account and redeposit from your bank account to your Skrill account as another form of verification. This is the website for PayPal. Based on your country of origin, the site is different. They also show your country flag and you should know that the banking method with PayPal is different for each country. The next website is Skrill. If you look at the bottom of the page, you should be able to see licenses and regulators for these websites. NetTeller. Next is NetTeller, which is similar to Skrill as it is based in England. It is licensed by the FCA and FSC. Like Skrill and PayPal, you can open an account at any time using your email address and personal information. Web money. WebMoney is another famous online payment system and is based in Russia. To open an account, you must follow the same procedure as PayPal and Skrill. However, due to its high security, it would be a little harder to work with this account. To verify your account, unlike the previous companies, you must physically attend one of their branches with your passport or ID card or with other required documentation. Internal transfer Another way that parties can transfer money is via an internal transfer between trading accounts of a given brokerage. This system allows you to transfer your money between other traders within the brokerage. However, it is not possible for brokerages licensed by the FCA or NFA. Transferring or wiring money is done in two ways between parties with common brokerage. In some brokers, such as Hot Forex and ICM brokers, internal transfer can be done only between clients who are introduced by a certain introducing broker, IB. 
some other brokers like Exynos and Forex for You provide internal transfer service in which clients can freely make a transfer to any other client without any limitations. Advantages of electronic cash. Now we will look at some advantages of electronic money over traditional methods. We must of course start with the obvious, its superior speed. You no longer have to waste time as you usually do with MasterCard and wire transfers. Any amount of money is easily transferred and it is more economical for smaller amounts as there is no transfer fee like if you were to wire it. It is easy to trade based on the currency you have chosen. For instance, you could be anywhere in the world and the system would still allow you to select any other currency such as British Pound or US Dollar. This is incredibly useful as before you would have to pay a fee to change your local currency into a major currency before you made any trades. Two very important factors are high account security and high payment security. With electronic money the aim is to be as secure as possible in order to prevent any outside tampering or hacking. The commission is very low and it is based on the amount that you transfer each time because when you first registered that company took a record of all your card numbers and details there is no need to enter it every time you want to make a trade making it easier and quicker for you. They are also very easy to follow and if you face a problem at any time it is very easy to follow or locate a past trade or transfer. Another big advantage and the last one we will touch on today is that these accounts are very easy to wire money from into your bank account. It is also easy to transfer your money and assets. All of this is great news for people and merchants who would like to do their business online and with electronic money they face great opportunities. That concludes this session. Until next time and another session, take care.